Uh, I just personally feel like, you know, O-line just, just got it done. And, you know, it's a, that's a young, scary group. And uh, this future is bright for them guys. And I'm just happy to be thank. I'm just thankful to just run behind them. Uh, I mean, Gino played an amazing game. So that kind of just helped everything for us on offense. And, you know, when you got a quarterback that, that's hot and he's hot right now, one of the hottest in the league, it kind of put pressure on the defense. So, it just make our running lanes that much easier. What do you think Gino has showed over these first four games? As he's a starting quarterback. I mean, maybe even more. I mean, he's winning games for us, so I'm, he's doing something really good. But uh, Gino's been pre- preparing for this moment behind Russ for three years now. Ever since I've been knowing Gino, I've always watched him. And, you know, it, it's no, like, not with Russ, but he, like, literally does everything Russ does. Like, now to this day at practice and in the games and it just it just it just looks the same and I'm blessed to be a part of that and just watch what he's done and what he can, what he's going to continue to do this season. Rashad, you've had two big games against this defense going back to last season. What do you see against them that allows you to produce what you have? It, it it's like it started off so rough like the first half like and that and that's just like for me personally like when things aren't going the right way like you know, my running back coach, Chad, he's always next to me, like, don't worry, we're going to get it. We're going to get it. Just keep just keep doing things right, and, you know, good things will happen. So that's just kind of been my motto since, you know, last year. So I always just try to uplift myself during those moments, and having him on my side is like a blessing. And all the other running backs, man, I'm, we have a really special group, and I believe each and every running back can do this same thing. And, you know, I, I really, really am grateful to be around them guys every day. What did you see from your perspective on that play? I mean, we've been game planning that all week. We kind of knew what they were going to line up in on the defense, and uh, DJ DJ was in the game, and uh, we kind of we kind of game planned that. And I've been actually game planning to do more third down because obviously Traver, Travis isn't here, but you know, just you know, they, the O line again blocked it up amazingly. DK was down the field blocking, and you know, it just shows when you know we're all committed, good things happen. So uh, great. Uh, play call and you know this is something we've been all week Shane you know he he kind of alerted that midweek so you know it's just a great overall team thing I mean yeah it, it, it wasn't the play call but we alerted it because we kind of knew what defense they were going to run on third down because you know we our coaches does an amazing job just you know preparing us for those moments and you know that was just one of our alerts and once we seen that they were in that kind of defense it was kind of a no-brainer yeah, just 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 some that you know we've been running, you know, kind of all throughout camp and, and season, and you know we just take advantage of the, uh, the bad looks the defense shows us. So O line again, um, Charles did an amazing job just wrapping around, and you know again the guys just making that hole, making that space for me to create, and you know for all our backs just in Geno. So you know they they deserve all this credit, and if I could have all five of them up here, well all ten. It it uh, it'll show you like how much I really appreciate them guys. Did you understand what was going on when the, the play stopped and they gave you guys basically a do over on the third and sixteen play? Well, yeah, it was a whistle that was blown. It was like it was kind of weird because I heard the whistle from the field and like that's why Gino just threw the ball away. It's like he was like, "What the heck is that?" And it was a whistle blown, so uh, it was just like that was kind of weird. So that's why he threw it away. And then, I mean, it was obvious. I, mean, I don't think Gino would just throw it away. So yeah. Is there a moment? I couldn't hear you. Was there a moment there during that preferee deliberation that you weren't sure they were going to give you the replay because the replay went down? Because I mean, of the I, I, from my perspective, then I heard another one that I guess um, that it was it was supposed to be that they gave us a fourth down when it was supposed to be third because intentional grounding because it was first when we got the hold and then second. And then we got the intentional ground that lose it down, and then that kind of got all screwed up. So, yeah, I was just I was lost, but then again, I was thankful that we got another play because we scored on the next play. The uh, end of the game, there's a running back out there find was getting that those last carries and you know, get more. Uh, just just knowing that the coaches rely on us to get that. I mean, at the end of the day, they tell us that's on us to get. You know, the old line do what they have to do to block to whoever they get, and you know, it's just on us and. 
again, I'm just thankful and blessed that, again, I'm in this situation, you know, to, uh, to help be a factor. And that's, that's really what I want to be. You know, I, my story is kind of all over the place because I always never made it to Sundays to be available to do this, to show that, you know, I'm capable of being a good back in this league. But I really put the work in the offseason to get back here, to, you know, just stay injury free, to just stay moving forward and positive. And, you know, finally getting these opportunities, I'm just blessed and, you know, showing what I actually can do. So, again, you know, I tip my, haps, tip my hat off to the coaches and, you know, the guys who really believe in me. And that's really, that's, I'm blessed. How were you able to get all the checks and chaos and guys? Really just good communication. We kind of uh, play loud music at practice so, you know, we can be in an environment like this. So when we go on silent cadence or, you know, Gino just does a great job verbally talking. And we go over these in meetings before games and, you know, during the week. So it's kind of a, like a it's like a no-brainer. So, again, he just does an amazing job just communicating to everybody down the line. And the old line communicates, and then that kind of makes everything easier for us as backs. And then you see the receivers on the outside giving signals. So it's just kind of one big communication and, you know, just us just playing in the moment. On the, on the final touchdown, do you normally wait for cross and fully tackle, or you just saw the gap go the edge so open you didn't have time to Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That, yeah, that's uh, – that's, that's that's two tr- that's two uh, pullers, and uh, I'll run behind them any day. So. <laughs> yeah, I mean, because of the front the defense was in. I mean, that that really was made to go inside. But you know how they was playing. I mean, just Cross being a rookie and you see his like his knowledge of just going to bounce that because he knew the hole wasn't there. To I mean, it, it just all correlates that the O line is you know they really do what you know was supposed to be done. And again. Yeah. I love to have all big 11 of them to stand up here and, you know, really hear this because they're the reason we get this team going. They're the reason this offense is, is uh, the, how we performed in the last few weeks. Just just keep going, and they believe in each other. So I'm just blessed to be around them. Thank you, Thank you. Thank you.